Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You, and welcome back to my kitchen. I had friends coming over, about five of them, and three are on that keto diet. Now, I'm not on that keto diet, but I want to make something that they're able to eat. So I started researching it a little bit, looking at some of the recipes. Do you know what popped out at me? This delicious quesadilla that I saw and thought, how can I make a quesadilla flavor and not have the tortilla? Because everything inside the quesadilla is fine for keto. It's a keto dia. And let me tell you, it was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. All the women loved it. It was all gone. So stay tuned and watch this amazing quick keto dia. First things first, we always start with an onion. Yours does not have to be purple, but we are dicing one onion. Or you can leave it just like that with the slices. It's up to you. Next, we're cutting up our peppers. I used five mini peppers. You can use one whole large pepper. That's up to you. I prefer a yellow or orange pepper, but if you want to put green in this, that's up to you too. We are going to saute these bad boys in two tablespoons of oil. We're also going to add a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of my homemade minced garlic. Please click on the um, link and watch that episode. Time to add five brown chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I had already had these in the fridge. I know, crazy. The night before, I was making them for a different meal, and I thought, why not make some extras? So I put browned them, and then just put them in the back of the fridge, because I knew they weren't cooked all the way. So these ended up being a super easy way for me to combine cooking and make my life easier. Let's get this cauliflower cut up. We're going to start cutting it in half, and then do you see this core here? We are going to get rid of that. Now if you cut too much of the core out, all your flowerettes are going to fall out. So you don't want to cut it too deep in. Just get that tough middle part out. There you go. Exactly. And get rid of those little pieces of leafy stuff there at the top. We don't need that. Now we're going to cut it into a quarter and slice it. This is a great way to get your broccoli cooked quicker, like that. And now if you want to do steaks, do a whole half. And that will get you more of the steak effect. And those are good for roasting. After we get all these pieces nice and sliced up and to where they're going to cook on a more even level, now we're going to place them all in the bottom of a 9 by 13 pan. This is going to be so tasty, guys, and you're not even really going to be able to taste the cauliflower. It, it was delicious. Get all those little pieces and get them in your pan. There you go. I forgot to slice up that green onion. Four green onions, this is for the topper. Just gives it that extra fresh punch at the end. So tasty to have those fresh punches. This stuff is optional. Sometimes I pat dry certain vegetables because they get a little soggy with all that water on there. And so if you cut them, when they're leaking some water, you can even put a little salt on there to have it pull out the water. I'll just pat it dry. So this recipe has some ingredients that I love. Now, I'm sharing with you some of Kathy Cooks For You secret weapons. And you can buy these by going down into the description and clicking where it says show more and you'll find a link to find these two spices. I doubt you'll find them in your local grocery store, but guess who has them? Of course, Amazon. So you can go and you can buy these Saison Tropical seasonings. I say Tropical or Tropical just because it makes me sound, you know, like a, a Tropical. Uh, so they're by the name brand ba Badia, Badia, I'm not really sure how to say that. And they have no MSG. One is more for meat. The other ones is soups, stews, and vegetables. And these two spices are part of my secret weapons. I want you to order these. They come in a two pack. It's not a lot of money. 
and you will be able to use these on so many things and anytime you want to give it a tropical flair uh, like a Mexican flair islandy these are your go-to's so click on that link below when you're done watching this video and buy these and then come straight back to YouTube and watch some more of my videos let's get back to cooking on the cauliflower I'm sprinkling the secret seasoning that has the orange cap. That's the one for vegetables and stews and rices, super tasty. When I made the chicken, I browned it with the green cap seasoning mix. Absolutely delicious on meats. Now let's add our sauteed mixture to this pan. Looking really good here. Get it all evenly dispersed. I decided to add a little more of the green cap Saison seasoning and really bring those flavors on home. And now what makes a quesadilla a quesadilla? Lots of cheese. I was being a little lazy and bought some shredded cheese. Normally I don't. This is a Mexican blend mix. After you get all your cheese on, then put it in the oven for, at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. We're just trying to get that cauliflower cooked, so just check it occasionally, make sure it's fork tender. And here it is. Sprinkle your green onions on it, and then we are just gonna serve this bad boy up. And I tell you, I'm gonna say it again, all my friends love this dish. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I hope you make it at home for your family. You don't have to be on the keto diet to eat this. It was tasty. Yum, yum, yum. So try it. And don't forget, subscribe by clicking the red button below. Press that subscribe button and you'll get more of my videos weekly on Kathy Cooks For You. Thank you so much for watching.